What's going on, LEGO Maniacs? It's Ty, the LEGO guy here, and welcome to another LEGO Star Wars review. Today we're journeying back to the original Episode 3 wave and taking a look at the Jedi Starfighter and Vulture Droid that's set 7256. It had 202 pieces, one minifigure retailed for only 20 USD, and it came out in 2005. Now nowadays, this is going for 163 new, or about 36 used, so it's appreciated quite a bit, but if you're willing to buy this used in good condition, 36 bucks, that's not too bad. But we're gonna take a look at its positives and negatives and see where it stands. But enough talk, let's get right into it. And we'll start by taking a look at the Vulture Droid. These are by far my favorite Vulture Droids as far as scale goes. There are tons of stickers to this set, in case you guys are wondering. And as you can probably see, they're starting to peel a little bit. That's why I really prefer printed pieces, because that just doesn't happen. But, I mean, they do add some nice detail. It looks very similar to what we see from the movie. Now breaking it down a little bit closer, there's the Vulture Droid's head along with two blasters on either side. It does look kind of menacing. This is what I mean by stickers starting to peel. Peeling a little bit, it's not too bad, but eh, I just wish they were printed pieces. Now this is the one thing that you can do with these Vulture Droids. You know how they kind of walk in the movies? Well, you can do that. In fact, you can even take his head off Stick it here because it's supposed to be more forward. And now you can uh, walk them around. Interesting idea. It's very creative and I love the fact that you can do this in Lego form. Again, this is probably my favorite Vulture Droid Lego's ever made. Let's now take a look at the Jedi Interceptor. And we'll give you guys a 360 view of the Jedi Starfighter. I think this looks great, especially for its age. I mean, look how well this is aged. It's not perfect looking, but it looks pretty good. Decent looking engine detail. Love these cockpit pieces as well. They look extremely accurate to uh, what we see from the movies. In fact, they made a custom mold basically just to make this look as accurate as possible as far as the cockpit's concerned. And the first detail that I want to mention, you know how they always say, or George Lucas, he says it's like poetry, it rhymes. That's what he always says about Star Wars. Well, check this out. What does that remind you of? Where is, where, where is things going? This is so much like a TIE fighter. And that's what I love about this ship, is it just, you can tell, this, you know, the Republic is turning into the Empire and... That windshield says it all. Such a little minute detail, but it just, I don't know. I, I love stuff like that. Now getting into the interior of Anakin's fighter. If you want to access them, you can just do so by raising the window. And uh, there's a couple control panels on either side. They are stickers, unfortunately, but they add some nice detail. You have Republic, the Republic logo on either side as well. An area where you can even store his lightsaber, which I thought was kind of smart. And if you want to stick this in attack position, you can do that by raising these wings. So now it's just like the movie. And these are stickers on either side. Fortunately, again, there are a lot of stickers in this set, but they do add some nice detail. That again is what it looks like if it's coming at you. These stickers have actually fared a lot better than the Vulture Droids, but again, I do wish they were printed pieces. The other thing too, they have stickers in the inside here, just adding a little bit more detail. And there is landing gear on this Jedi Starfighter. In fact, if you want to stick it in landed mode, you can by just folding these parts out. And it's landed. So overall, very impressed with this ship. Again, it's not perfect. The newer ones are better. But this is the template they kind of used. And again, I just love that window piece along with the entire cockpit. It just looks awesome in my books. You can see Anakin through it. And again, that's what it kind of looks like, giving you guys a bird's eye view. Let's now take a look at the minifigure. 
And here's Anakin Skywalker. If you want to say the set has one and a half minifigures, you can technically probably get away with that just because R2's head is included, but not his body. But really, I don't really count that. This is the single minifigure that's included. Love the fact that Anakin has a headset. Decent looking print. And the other thing that I love about him, is check out that beautiful chrome lightsaber. This was one of the last years that they produced it. After this, they went to gray and then they went to the lightsaber hilt that we're used to nowadays. These by far were my favorite. However, if you played with them a lot, they would start to chip. So they're best for just displaying, not for playing with in my opinion. That's what he looks like from the back. Kind of a weird hair choice, but it works. I mean, he does have a little bit longer hair, right? No back face printing, back torso printing. They didn't really start doing that with Lego Star Wars minifigures at this time. Overall, definitely really like this figure. Let's now get into the end of the review and get my final thoughts. Well guys, that was my review. Do hope you enjoyed it. The early, like let's say 2002 to about 2005, that's when Lego Star Wars sets, in my opinion, started to get really good. There were some good sets that came before, don't get me wrong, but they started to take Lego Star Wars on another level in those years and you can see that the vulture droid or especially the jedi starfighter that's in this set is the template for any future jedi starfighters we've got nowadays yes they're better yes they're more improved they're more sturdy but they're based off this it's very similar to Django fett slave one that we recently did review as well they kind of use that as a template if it's not broke don't fix it and they just improved on it and that's what i really liked about the set also the fact that you're getting Two fighters for 20 bucks? Great deal. I mean, nowadays, this would be 25 USD, 30 USD just for the Jedi Starfighter alone. You're paying 20 bucks and you're also getting a Vulture Droid. I know adjusted for inflation, it's going to be more, but still, that's a really good deal in my books and pretty good designs too, especially for their age. But let me know what your personal thoughts are on these two fighters, if you like them, if you don't, any areas you think they could maybe improve on them. But that pretty well does the review, but if you liked it, Leave it a thumbs up, and if you're new to the channel, you know, definitely consider subscribing and click that bell so you're notified for any future LEGO Star Wars reviews, comparisons. Like we always say, we do them every single Tuesday. But that's all I got for you again. But thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.